All right, let's get this train wreck on the road already. <laughs> I don't know how the hell we're gonna fill up an hour with this shit. <laughs> well, it's supposed to be full of randomness and wins. So okay, <laughs> we'll get started in five, four, three, two, one. And welcome to tonight's special holiday episode of PCP, the Pagan Centered Podcast. I'm Dave. I'm Amber. I'm Ashley. Also I'm doing the audience <laughs> down there. Brady <laughs> 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 box, Brady <free> box. <laughs> Tonight is random. Days. If this is the first time listening to PCP, just skip this episode. Download another one. You're not going to get any <laughs> And there's a Brandon somewhere in the ether. Oh, I have a big bull of noms. That means Scurvy should be here any minute now. <laughs> <laughs> you use a video post for this so you can watch me eat. <laughs> oh, fuck intro. It's the reason why this makes a whole lot of fun. <laughs> is, is, is As we've learned this year, Scurvy has a thing about people eating on air. And he always gets to us, so we try to eat as much as we can on air now. <laughs> Mmm, <laughs> stroganoffy. <laughs> stroganoffy. Uh, this is going to be like our year review episode. At least that's officially what we got for the show notes. Basically, it's just an episode of randomness we do once a year. No show notes, no any value, just randomness for an hour. It's our Cthulhu Month This way episode. we won't have to edit out the tangents. We'll just leave them there. Yeah, basically. This is your episode full of somewhat coherent tangents. We'll figure out later if they're coherent at all. <laughs> <laughs> so this has been quite the year here. Um, we matured a little, and we also pissed off a lot of people. That pissing off a lot of people is uh, very consistent with what we do around here at PCP. <laughs> For some reason, people just forget that when we're nice to someone. Yeah, that happens. So, yeah. So, yeah. Um, speaking of being nice, we were nice to a lot of people this year. Just not nice to a couple of people. I seem to get a lot more attention. Between Kelly Mazing, <laughs> who we turned into a swear word for quite a few episodes, which I still like, you know, telling people to go Kelly Maze themselves. Um <laughs> We also... and don't forget about the dawning Christians. <laughs> Randomly plagiarizing people and being uh, like, I'm a cool, super cool guy, because he said it. Yeah, when you copy-pasted yourself in the article, asshat. <laughs> Speaking of asshats, the evolution of the asses and assets board. <laughs> 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 yeah, we used to just... You know, have the little bulletin board full of win and the bulletin board of fail. But we decided, yeah, we have better ways to punish, fail, and reward win. And we have evolved that. Some consider that maturity. I consider that more effective. <laughs> and as you can see, we started doing video this year. This is very professional. we got Brady Box going on here. And there's a screen of greedness. <laughs> the screen of greenness, which I used uh, this past weekend to resign from the PPP, <laughs> apparently became breaking news on Pagan Weekly News. Really? Oh my God, Dave left something. It's gonna suck. <laughs> yeah. No, we know this from season one. It's gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start talking about penises now. They have enough peas to do it. <laughs> 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 so yeah, that was that was it's kinda weird when I'm like, oh I'll listen to the news this week. Breaking news, Dave Resource with a PvP. Well, you've gotta be shit me. I made the news. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if that's awesome that you made the news or really depressing that the only thing that they have to talk about is you leaving. Oh no, no, they had other stuff to talk about. I, I ranked it higher. 
than that whole thing that's going on in Georgia right now. What? Yeah. With uh, Why? This, this, I, well, I don't I'm gonna know. Just have to look I'm not at the it. one who writes Pagan Weekly News. Contact not Mark. that I would never be up to date on Pagan News, and I, of course, know everything about what's happening in Georgia, but maybe you want to enlighten our <laughs> listeners. <laughs> what's going on? <laughs> Don't worry, I, w- I actually had to research this. And oh, listening oh, to Pagan shit. Weekly News was a substantial part of my research on this. He did his homework. <laughs> Remember, kids, do your homework. See, this is why I like Pagan Weekly News. I, don't, I can get my regular news without having to go to a Pathios property. <laughs> or all the band hammers and all the drama. <laughs> Quick, everybody, into the drama lava. No, 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 no. No, so apparently in, in Georgia, um, the, it's not just like a school teacher. It's a school teacher and the school administration and basically everyone up the food chain is basically picking on this kid for being pagan. That's the really short version of the story. And this has done a lot to unite the pagan community. I mean, you got Circle Sanctuary working with uh, Covenant of Goddess and like 15 other organizations. And now there is a pagan task force. To deal with this situation. Yeah, Task Force One, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, Georgia. <laughs> Don't be a duty. <laughs> so, yeah. There's, there's, I'm sure the rest uh, of Georgia is very nice, but that specific part of Georgia that's picking our little kid. It's, it, it's actually it's Atlanta. It's uh, somewhere in Atlanta. Man, and Atlanta's supposed to be one of the more progressive areas. I know. Now. But it's still Georgia. They, they still have all their teeth in Atlanta, I hear. <laughs> They're all refined and stuff. They make moonshine out of their sinks. Civilization. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is Georgia. And you know who else lives in Georgia? And it's not Hitler. Jason <laughs> <laughs> lives in Georgia? Llamas live in Georgia? Um, no, fucker went down to managers Georgia. Managers of Pantheos Pagan Portals live in Georgia. He was looking for a wildlife to violate. Like I said, llamas, Dave. Llamas. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't realize I was being redundant. <laughs> drama, llama, drama, llama. Anyway. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, Pathios gave us lots of reason to criticize Region P Media this year. Uh, was a lot of drama and a lot of sadness. Just a lot of drama. Oh, and by the way, you can find us on DirecTV now. What? Yeah. So, apparently, DirecTV has decided to pick up, like, every YouTube channel and put it in, like, a YouTube section of DirecTV. So you can watch me on your big screen TV eating stroganoff! (laughs) And we're filming this in high definition! (laughs) (laughs) Stroganoff dance. I made that, thank you. Megan made the stroganoff. (laughs) Good job, Megan. Good job, Megan. (laughs) So yeah, after after we realized pagan media kind of well, certain pagan media kind of sucks. We decided to just like start hanging out and monitoring pagans and what they're talking about. October. Good job, Megan. Megan's getting published next October in an online magazine. Awesome. Okay, Brandon's going to figure out how to use the G+. Plus. We're going to see if he can sign on. Okay, we're going to have a great race. Perfect. We got what? Gurley who's been trying for the last half an hour to get on Google+. Plus. To get on the Google+, Plus, all you need to do is click a button. <laughs> <laughs> this is not rocket science here. <laughs> I'm pretty sure Scurvy's trying to strap a rocket to it to make it rocket science. <laughs> And you're like, how did he get a rocket? Simple. He just built one out of regular kitchen components. He built it out of tinfoil and matchsticks. <laughs> <laughs> Guy's a freaking big guy, but he can't put an alternator in his vehicle. That's called irony. <laughs> it's called laziness. <laughs> that too. There's nothing wrong with the alternator. Put, put, put. Oh, fuck, we're stopped. Yeah, yeah, that's because we got no electric, fucker. <laughs> Today, if you buy an RV, make sure it has a working alternator. It's a good, good thing. Now, if you do have a working alternator, it worked alternator, until somebody monkey pounded it. <laughs> don't let people go fucking Hulk pounding your car. 
<laughs> don't let people by the name of Gamma monkey pound your alternator because then it won't work anymore. Dave will have to bitch at you for a year and a half about it. <laughs> don't be that guy. <laughs> there, I can see my finger. You know how many that times guy. that vehicle's got me stranded now? <laughs> You should think of it as an adventure. That's the way I have to think of it. Otherwise, I would get stressed <laughs> out. Otherwise, you just explore. What random town where we get stuck in nuts? <laughs> da, 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 da. <laughs> I'd be worried if you weren't Texan now. <laughs> so, so uh, let's see. We, we did lots of stuff this year. We didn't just sit here in front of our webcams now and just say hi to each other once a week. We actually went out to Pow Wow and documented their stuff, and hopefully we will come up with the most over-the-top epic intro for a Pow Wow ever. It'll have you have a green screen now. There will be explosions and everything. <laughs> Flying cars through space. <laughs> pow Wow! <laughs> be like, Pow Wow! <laughs> and then people watch the videos, and it's all calm and stuff, and they'll be like... I thought this was a Michael Bay film. <laughs> Ow, I got hit. <laughs> yeah, whatever I come up with, it's got to be, like, ridiculous. It, that, that is my goal. <laughs> Can there be a giant robot in the trailer? <laughs> a giant coyote robot. <laughs> a Power Rangers with Native Americans. Would that work, or is that bad? That's like otaku kid for Native Americans. <laughs> it just doesn't work. There'd be a lot more sex involved, which is something an otaku kid would never really get much of. Because <laughs> as soon as I say, well, by the way, I'm a Voltorb. Wow, you're not getting laid tonight. Bye. <laughs> and they leave you with a check. <laughs> But we also started the Pagan Shopping Network. Yay, Pagan Shopping Network, highlighting Pagan shops that don't suck at Yay. life. We also launched And after men. Christmas, we're going to have a whole bunch more interviews coming out. Oh, yes. The Pan Gaia Shop, the Groovy Baker, hopefully some wood carvers, some people that work in polymer and clay, all sorts of things. Pangaia the Groovy Baker, awesome. not to be confused with the Sleeping Griffin. <laughs> Sorry, okay? I can't keep these guys straight anymore. There's so many of them. Or girls that you think are guys. <laughs> I apparently missed that one. That must have been fun. Yeah, that, that, yeah. I, mean, <laughs> that, I think I've lost my intro privilege for all episodes of Baby Shopping Network. <laughs> ever. <laughs> we forgot the greatest news ever. I got a license in a car, motherfucker! <laughs> Driving stuff now. I'm mobile. Yes, you got license and vehicle. Uh, we uh, Barrett launched Pagan Men, and now everybody go wants Barrett. a new episode of it. So we gotta hope go go to that Canadian next year, and and go visit him how like at his house and be like make. Did more you say go to the day. Canadian? Canadian. Okay. Barrett's For some place? reason, it was like, you're calling Canada Canadian. Go to the Canadian. I don't <laughs> know, whatever. Canadian. It was funny in my head. Canada. Continue. <laughs> I, I would make a remark on, that I'll pagan right women back. became a feat on our site, but pagan women also just got deprecated. So, <laughs> it came, it went. That was a good time. <laughs> Go visit the archive of pagan women. <laughs> yeah. It's under discontinued shows. Even though it's still on the air. We're just not dealing with that shit anymore. <laughs> um, let's see what else. Oh, yeah, because a lot of stuff happened in the past week. I resigned from the PvP, so that means there's no more PvP show on our site. And um, I discontinued Pagan People and told everybody, go listen to Pagan Weekly News because it's full of one. So, yay. I think I just post-produced an episode where you promoted Pagan People. <laughs> yeah, I... I Oh, well. I'm terrible. Well, the last episode of Pagan People just says, go listen to Pagan Weekly News, but whatever. One day, will the episodes will be up to date. One day. <laughs> One day, we will talk about stuff as it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> Not just on YouTube. <laughs> I tried to do 15 things at once here and succeed at none of them. Dave, cast Magic Missile at the Darkness. 
<laughs> it's not. So in that, so now we get to scurvy segment, but scurvy's not here because he can't click a button. Um, <laughs> hey, how's the Griffin doing, by the way? Getting a, getting his button clicked. Cricket, cricket, cricket. I think she's helping him find the button. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> Actually. <laughs> There is no button for him, so Dave, I think you have to go into the PCP thing and put... Brandon liked PCP, so you have to go put him in whatever limited circle you have the button distributed to. Oh, okay, hang on. Uh... That'd be so funny if that was a witness him in scurvy. <laughs> no, just wait. Dave's going to put you in a circle, and then you just refresh the page and click the button. Or I just make it public, and we just got to watch for every Yahoo that comes our way now. Okay. We can have fun with them. They can fill an hour. <laughs> it is I'm a, Satan. Well, we have sure you just are. Our topic to go five minutes into the episode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's see. If the Griffin can do it, then that means All right, Brennan, hit refresh. Let me refresh. Right. Here we go. Do we, can we take question requests? Well, why not? Megan wants to know if other kin can include uh, tend to include religious figures. I suppose it depends on which religious figures, but I suppose. Saints would be more of a reincarnation, so it depends on what religious figures. It depends on which religious figures. It depends, I guess, on how much the forum fails, too. <laughs> God's everywhere! Give me the air of this god! I'm the god of moonbeams and pixie dots. Fear me! <laughs> <laughs> I will summon my magical warthog. He will destroy you all! While playing Pokemon music. <laughs> magical warthog. All right, how's it's the Griffin coming? <laughs> yeah, kinda. Go up. Click on live. The mic turns off. Hey, I kind of hear robotic Brandon. Yay, yeah, somebody summon the Griffin. I is robotic. I is robotic. Yeah. But then you've got he is now self-aware. And there's a link at the bottom. Which brings you to another page. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, Brandon. Look. Hello. Brandon made it, and I only helped him sign into Google and find out that it needed to be a different button. Ah, <sighs> uh, everybody has webcams, and I do not. Oh. For Brandon. That was a big picture of Brandon's silhouette. Holy crap. Ah! People! People! <laughs> oh, there's six! Hey, look, I'm eating stroganoff. Mm. <laughs> what a wonderful way to start the holiday episode. <laughs> Help, we can't get people in here. <laughs> and, yeah. See? There we go. Maybe we should just fill this with listeners asking us random shit. I think. <laughs> Thank you, Ashley, for very much appreciating people have taken their time out to be on our fabulous show here by calling them losers. <laughs> hey, no problem. Hi, losers! <laughs> uh, I'm regretting they call them all fat losers. They still keep going back. <laughs> Cute fuckery for life. Hey, we finally got a Joe! <laughs> We do. I found the button. I <laughs> found the button. You know, there's a fucking hangout. There's a fucking hangout button on every goddamn post on that asshole. <laughs> you looked on every single one, didn't you? <laughs> you look very well, just what else pleased. What else was there to do? Scurvy, I started ten minutes after you did, and I still made it here before you did. <laughs> Don't. He's got... <laughs> You still alive, Scurvy? Awkward moment. 
Dun dun dun. <laughs> he got up and ran away. I think he glitched, actually. I see movement in his camera. Yeah, or something fell. No, he punched it. Are we sure it wasn't a brother that he punched? Yeah. Uh, yeah, he probably glitched. Oh, there goes his internet. Hey, Ashley, your, your video is muted. I didn't want to incur his wrath further by eating in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> he was gonna. F he looked like he was ready to fly through the monitor and kill us all. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, silent mode. <laughs> He's a little mad. We love you, scurvy. Come back. I don't think he loves us anymore. Naria is having some problems with the chat group. <clears throat> so is there anywhere that we can we can leave off and <laughs> the group comes back on and we can make it seem like we're doing something? <laughs> there was a Boris for two seconds. I don't know who Boris is. Hello, Boris. Goodbye, Boris. See, the thing is, we just made it public, so we wound up on some public site where people are just bored to death. We'll just click on random links. Never know what you'll find. <laughs> we can find Waldo. Though Sarah's on there, and Sarah, we're interviewing her next month with, um... Philip? Uh, yes. Phil Kessler. Philip. Yes. And we're doing the Pan Gaia shop for the, the Pagan Shopping Network. Woohoo! Usually there's I'm not going to be quite so much open space time. Yeah, but this is the episode where we didn't really make show notes because it's just the, the hour of randomness we do every year. Phil and I do a show that's uh, stump the hosts periodically. <laughs> nice. Dave, what the fuck are you doing? Oh, I'm I just keep... You be reminding me of Badger Badger. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom, mushroom. Are you ready? Let's try this again. Yes, yeah, girl. What happened? Did you smite your computer in a fit of rage? I'm really not having a good day today. I'm uh. sorry. <laughs> well, if it makes you feel any better, I went to pick up my paycheck today, and they didn't put my vacation or my holiday pay on it like I expected, so I'm like $600 short on what I expect my paycheck to be. Oh, only 600 Yeah. So that's pretty shitty. Yeah, that's, that would suck a lot. Yeah. I'm trying to work on it, though. Hopefully, uh, my bosses get that fixed before I have to call a lawyer or something. Then it would be Brandon Lyon. It would be Griffin Lyon. I wish. <laughs> Food Griffin! <laughs> With a cute, fluffy mascot! <laughs> would that have to change the logo all that much? No. Not really, just add wings to the lion. <laughs> <laughs> Put a beak on it, it works. <laughs> Scurvy, you look like a supervillain that's plotting our eminent demise. Scurvy is plotting our eminent demise. <laughs> Scurvy? Scurvy, where are you, Scurvy? Yeah, I think his, his video froze up or something. Or he got dropped from the call. I've had that happen nope. seven times. Yeah, yeah, you keep dropping, man. Yeah, I plugged in my um, network card. I finally got fed up. Well, yeah. Plug it in network card. It's usually a good thing. 
Hmm, <coughs> I must go in search of food. Stop hanging on your wall, Naria. It's like a... I don't know, some kind of fuzzy animal? It... It looks like a tail? <laughs> and then he's gone. <laughs> it looks like a foxtail. Yeah, it's like... Okay, well, this qualifies as the most awkward moments of the year. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> well, that's Amber. What's Amber? Huh, what? My girlfriend's all confused. She finally looked up, and then she sees Amber's avatar, and she thought we were talking about your uh, red-tailed coyote. Red tail coyote equals fox? No. And that's what she's saying. Okay. <laughs> like, don't you know the difference between a fox and a coyote? Yeah. Oh, what the hell is you doing? <laughs> okay. Is it tail? It, what is it? It's a fox tail. Okay. That was the, that was the going speculation. Yep. Call drop me again. It needs to stop doing that, or I may hunt down some people at Google and smack them. <laughs> <laughs> or we just go back to Skype. <laughs> they will get tail slapped. Watch the hypnotic foxtail. <laughs> Alright, so what do we want to do this coming year? Our goals for this coming year? Yeah, yeah, we haven't established any. Not that we're good at establishing goals, but... My goal is to finish my novel. Wow, we so talked at the same time. You go first. I was going to say, we've pretty much done most of our goals except for publishing a book. Yeah, that's my next goal since I achieved... I achieved and unlocked my driver's license and car. <laughs> I say world domination, that works. Thank you. Congratulations, you just turned 16. Huzzah, huzzah, huzzah. So, all right, my my goal for Pagan Center podcast is get a book out. Yeah. Well, we do have half of the, um, my religion book. Yeah. You're, oh gonna yeah. Be for a while. Yeah, we, could, we could wrap that up. I think we could do that next year. All right, Scurv, take it easy. See you, Scurv. Take care of yourself, Scurvy. Heart. Aww. Did he trip over the alternator? Hey, nice. <laughs> it's not as loud. I thought you said you were always nice. I yeah, am. he lied. <laughs> In bed, I mean. <laughs> no, but I could do that on Kim if you want. No, thanks. You <laughs> <laughs> gonna get some roses, Brandon? No, thanks. I have a book. Unfortunately, I cannot see what it is because the screen is too small. <laughs> it's a Lupa book. You're still reading that thing? Believe it or not, yeah. <laughs> I sent that to you like two months ago, man. There's not well, I haven't had a lot of time to read. <laughs> Well, some people read to make stuff make sense, and sometimes, unfortunately, if you're reading stuff that don't quite make sense, they say, error, I gotta do this again. <laughs> Repeat ad nauseum. There's some books that you just never get through because you're constantly going, well, that doesn't make sense. Let me re read that. It still doesn't make sense. I'll skip it. It's 40 pages of content and 80 pages of forum posts. <laughs> 80 pages of what? 
forum posts. Well, oh. how, 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 how. So, we're going to eyeball this at 120 some pages. Would you want. To, well, actually, yeah, Dave, you would. But. <laughs> I mean, really, if it took somebody six months to read that, would you really hold it against them? Maybe they decided they're only going to read it when they take a shit, and they're not the type to dwell on the pot- potty all day long. Well, that would be the appropriate place to read it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm not going to hold it against them. I'm just making fun of Naria, that's all. It's just going to be fun. We're going to pass around the torture. Yeah, that's all. I bought the book, like, I don't know, well, I bought it before I moved to Houston, so it has to be, like, four years ago. Then I was, like, hanging out my bookshelf, and, yeah, and there is, like, hey, yeah, I've heard about this book. Oh, crap, that's been collecting dust on my bookshelf. Here you go. So, So, yeah. So, I take it we're going to stick to our normal themes of people we don't like. (laughs) (laughs) One sec. As Amber continues to die. It's a lot better than what it was. I just can't get up and move around a whole lot or else I get really lightheaded. Oh, okay. Sad news for the week, our neighbor passed away. Oh, that sucks. So, Mark, our local neighborhood land pirate, his um, his partner passed away. Oh, wow. That sucks a lot. Good news is Carl's no longer in his hospital delirium. That's good. How could you tell the difference? That's what he has therapist for. Okay. He's a trained professional, apparently. (laughs) (coughs) It works. (laughs) Yep. Second time this year I've had to operate on myself on air. What are you doing? <clears throat> Move an LCD monitor. That made no sense. I'm confused. I think we need to kill the confusion with a large knife. Mm. Hey, that'll help get that bit out. <laughs> mm, better knife. PCP would like to advise our listeners to please seek the medical advice of a skilled medical person. Preferably uh, a utility knife, doctor. actually. <laughs> Prior to using a utility knife to operate on oneself. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Legal CYA here. <laughs> <clears throat> do as I say, not as I do when I tell you not to do this. <laughs> So apparently we're going to be launching a medical show at some point next year. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> I volunteer to be the surgeon. Joy. <laughs> <laughs> Your luck, you'll be plugged into some RV and we'll alternator will run out and we'll be screwed. <laughs> Bones all stop halfway through. <laughs> I would suck. Just hack at it the rest of the way. It'll be fine. Yeesh, why the hell do people always freak out when I tell them I'm having a bad day? I think it was when you punched your monitor. <laughs> yeah. Go ahead. It, it looked really like your pal drive it. I, I can tell your rage is slapping me in the face. We had our Christmas party today. It was not a good day. I can imagine. Good 
Couldn't you have called in dead? <laughs> living dead? Yes, called in living dead and ate all their brains. There's not many things that can really piss me off from the world. I just don't like stupid. You had a whole lot of that today, didn't you? I mean, if I explain to you, and you agree with me every step of the way, is this what happened here? Is this what happened here? And then I say, can you draw a conclusion? And they're like, well, no. Maybe you just can't it's draw. like, did you have the ability to do this? If the answer is yes, okay. Did you have the responsibility to do this? If the answer is yes, okay. Then, should you have done this? And if you look at me like a fucking idiot, I have trouble respecting you as an animate object. <laughs> Where did the griffin go? I don't know. I thought he was running downstairs to you, Amber. <laughs> oh, well. Getting a new monitor. No, I think he went outside to go smoke cancer. Oh, okay. We have a John in the group. Yes. Hello. Good evening. And how are you tonight? Doing okay. What do y'all got going on in here? Apparently, utter chaos. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> There's lots of monitor punching and everything. <laughs> Normally, this would oh be all. Oh, my God. Idea. Idea. <laughs> you need to take that clip of Scurvy punching his monitor and put it in the powwow trailer. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> take this big scary lemon and make scary lemonade. <laughs> Uh, Apparently we were too scary for him. That's all right. That was all right. Tomorrow there'll be some right up. There's big scary people doing hangouts on Google Plus. They'll be out of like some Pantheos vlog. <laughs> I think it was one of the guys Star that Foster just Foster asking, is this why Dave left the PPP to hang out with scary people? <laughs> he was probably hoping for sex, like everybody else on the internet. <laughs> so what are you guys going on in here? Not sex with violence. Damn it, I thought this was a sex violent chat. Fuck! <laughs> I want to copulate with instruments. You want to copulate with instruments? The violins. I don't know. I made it up. <laughs> Why are you asking it to make sense? <laughs> <laughs> no, not violence. Violins. <laughs> that makes it better somehow. <laughs> I know you're supposed to play your lover's body like an instrument, but I don't think that's what they were going for. Did Scurry just bring a bug zapper into the show? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> accordion sex. Act accordion. Accordions do go in and out. <laughs> they can squeeze things like a peni. There you go. That's the wrong part of a conversation to walk in on. That's apparent. That's a shame there was no random person that walked in for that. Actually, considering this group, that's sort of what you expect. <laughs> I mean, the odds of walking back to a random penis reference around here, I put that at about one in ten AFKs. <laughs> I mean, one in five, something like that. I mean. So, Scurve, we're actually uh, getting on to your segment of this, this episode here, which is the silly things we've done during the year. Yeah. 
Let me bring up show notes this way. I got something. Yeah, because uh... you can make more sense of that than I can. Like, it's everything's good. It's just I don't know how to make it entertaining. Alrighty. Someone give me a link to that. It's right up there in the document tab. <laughs> I did the button myself. Oh, Dave couldn't figure it out, but I did it. <laughs> He's going to drive up just to punch you in the face now. <laughs> no, I'm excited because Dave couldn't do it. Well, that's because it says on my thing, you know, sorry, Google Docs is not supported. I'm like, why? I, I picked this option because Google Docs said it wasn't. Ah, whatever. The chat was jealous of your green screen. Hmm. <laughs> <coughs> <coughs> You are really looking like an evil mastermind today. <laughs> Freaking me out, dude. One moment. Okay. He's gonna pull a laser shark somewhere. Leave He's, kill... <laughs> He's off to kill some British spy. <laughs> no, it's just a British engineer. Oh, okay. Well, at least he's British. <laughs> Same difference. I'm sure there's plenty of pagan women that would love to be eaten out by a dragon. <laughs> That's not what you're talking about. <laughs> Is there a sign of sheep for that? There should be! <laughs> yeah, there should. All requests shall go to Naria. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm hmm, mm hmm, mm hmm, la 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 la. So Moscow. apparently, Hurricane Irene made it to the second most horrible disaster in the in the world this year. Ooh. And I'm just sitting here like, eh, Hurricane Irene. This is because it hit New York City. <laughs> well, no, they were talking New York City didn't get the most damage, but North Carolina and Virginia. Oh, yeah, yeah. But, like, everybody got trapped in New York City, so... Oh, yeah, um, I'm noticing something. If he should happen to use valerian root and kava kava to all help out with that anxiety, when it starts to wear out, I get a little bit weepy. Yeah, about... Yeah, make sure I get... Extended periods. I was well, supposed to look that up. work with limited options here. <clears throat> it's kind of working with limited options here. Have you tried using just one of them? Mm -hmm. Which one have you tried using just one of? Let's see. I've tried to cover cover. That really don't do a whole hell of a lot. Cover cover. Usually, you have to take for three days before it kicks in. If I remember right. Yeah. There we go. Documents. There's a Sarah that wants to pet your hair, Scurvy. Who wants to what? Pet your hair. <laughs> Who does? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. She sounds like a nice Sarah. We like the Sarah. <laughs> Don't smash the Sarah. <laughs> Actually, sound like a really, really neat. I am a very nice Sarah, but I warn you, I probably have bigger balls than most men, and I will make you um, insert here. Have sex with accordions? <laughs> you, you will yes, have, have sex, sex with accordions. You will be and random person is intensely amused, thinking about, how can I stick my penis into an accordion? <laughs> Sarah, you like Valerian root, even though it smells I like I missed a most of that, and okay. <laughs> okay, I used to. I take... only thing I heard was balls and insert or something. <laughs> <laughs> it's all you need to hear. <laughs> Are we back to gonads and strife? <laughs> Is there another topic? I I don't even remember what was making me crack up so much with gonads and strife. It was somewhere with miles, but I don't remember. <laughs> Maybe thinking of Miles singing Go Dance and Strife? I don't know. He did something stupid. I forget what it was, though. 
Or his gonad sleep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I think it was news who went, like, I know where you sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know where oh, you're yeah. going. <laughs> I was like, go ahead and strive. <laughs> yeah. He didn't sound comfortable when us news said that. <laughs> <laughs> A random guy left. Probably to go faff about accordions. <laughs> <laughs> we stopped talking about sex, then he left. <laughs> he went to go get his accordions, see if he could stick his penis inside of it. <laughs> I'm sure that's been rule 30. <laughs> well, of course. Ford somewhere. Yeah, this one's never making it to the radio. <laughs> no. Oh, God, no. <laughs> Imagine walking into a better physical shop, and then he couldn't find it. You know, he now needs to stick his dick in an accordion. What the fuck are you walking into? <laughs> Alright, let me try to make heads and tails of scary show notes here. Yeah, I'm on my netbook right now, and Saint's not exactly known for horsepower. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Crazy things we did this year. Or ever. Let's see. I broadcasted through a forest fire, a tornado, a power outage. Yeah, yes, all of the above. Telemarketers. No, no, no. That was the gods calling to say they weren't happy with us talking about disrespecting the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Wish that I was could. Yahweh trying to get everyone to not think about how COIS got called on him. <laughs> all his kids got taken away. See, I figured something out. Wicca is like the foster mom for CYS. <laughs> they take nice. all of the kids from the Christian guide and they give them to Wicca. And sometimes Wicca adopts some of the kids. <laughs> other times they just go off to other foster homes. <laughs> and they get adopted by other gods. <laughs> I think I like that adaptation. <laughs> Become a foster parent today. <laughs> I think the mother got us to be a great foster mom. <laughs> She's done it so well so far. What's this one called? Holiday special. Two oh twenty eleven holiday special. Come on, Google, don't crash. Come on, we keep up this randomness for another half hour. We might get an episode out of this. <laughs> yeah, there wasn't a lot of silences. <laughs> Truncate silence. 15 minutes. Shut Do we have to blur the people, the random people that came in their faces? Yeah, nope. fuck them. Wait, are we supposed to be talking about something specific? Well, our show notes are full of randomness, so no. <laughs> At least <We're> this week. <laughs> We're specifically <laughs> unspecific. Yeah, this is the episode where we just do random stuff, then we experiment with Google Hangouts tonight. As opposed to our normal Skype. Because we just get really pissed off if we actually tried to have an episode and nothing worked. <laughs> yeah. Especially if it was an interview. That would suck a lot. Oh, yeah. It's like, well, this was a terrible idea. How are you doing? <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm curious about something in the uh, notes document that you have. Uh-oh. Okay, under stuff that's happened in the background during the show, scurve letter H. Okay, letter H. Really? really? I'm trying to get there. You'd have to read oh, yeah, it out loud yeah, I for know me. this one. I'm this. not sure I want to read it out loud. Oh, God. Rick rolling keep... pagan leaders with gay furry porn with plenty of seminal fluid. <laughs> <laughs> I bleach! Poor Dave Karen. <laughs> Scarred for life. Uh, and this is why Scurvy is forever afraid of heathens. <laughs> no, they're okay. When they remember to uh, send me their tickets to parties that I pay for. <laughs> or they could, they, or, you know, they did try to contact you to let you know they couldn't contact you. <laughs> yeah. 
Okay, now I'm in a really bad mood today, so I, quite frankly, I don't really give a fuck. So, um, <laughs> if you're going to you get a hold of me on my Facebook and you have access thus far, okay, see, if you go to my profile page, you'll see about two or three different ways to get a hold of me. As a matter of fact, while you're talking to me on Facebook, maybe you could just tell me the pertinent information that you couldn't tell me by not, well, what the hell, ah. I hate it when people do stupid shit like this. It makes it almost impossible to rant about it without sounding like a fucking idiot. <laughs> you mess up the syntax just a little bit, it's like, bleh. They contacted you to let you know they couldn't find a way to contact you. <laughs> Somebody did that? Yes. yes. <laughs> um, did you ask them to remove their head from their ass first? <laughs> what the fuck do you say to that? I mean, it's like, uh... Um, wow. I mean, really, I could have said that, but, I mean, if the person's telling me that truckload of stu stupid, I mean, could any remark I could possibly say penetrate that skull? Humans are stupid. I yes. mean, it's like... <laughs> Here we go. Intro brainstorming. Yeah, like, uh, okay, in addition to that, there was you getting bitched out on an MMO, saying that you should be focusing on your podcasting in the middle of a podcast. <laughs> yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Assholes. <laughs> well, a topic of pot, because apparently one of our listeners is playing at the same time, too. <laughs> Skype the fuck up, asshole. <laughs> so we're playing and all that stuff, and I think we were doing an interview. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much just playing. I'm interviews an Amber thing. I'm sorry. I just by the time I get something to say and go to say it, I mean Amber's already said it normally, and I tend to have this side effect of damaging people, and we have a lot of cool people on, and I don't really want to damage most of them. Most. <laughs> so, yeah. I got my ass chewed out for that one. It's like, shouldn't you be focusing on the podcast? I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I listen to your goddamn show. Get the fuck back on there. <laughs> Going to be filling out army morale surveys. Yeah, that was fun. <laughs> Though you only have sleep preparation in 36 hours. I mean, I've seen you much less sleep. Mm -hmm. But that was being in road trip, I think. I, I don't recall that being a podcast. Well, during the week. There's that added difficulty of driving while podcasting. <laughs> I don't think I've podcasted while driving yet. Well, it's pagan road trip. Well, I guess that counts. Yeah, that pretty much does count. Ow. Hopefully, uh, you know. Here we go. My girlfriend's asking, isn't that up there with texting while driving and shouldn't be in the passenger seat while podcasting? And I'm like, no. Because just think, when they make, make cell phone at everything illegal, we'll still be able to podcast while driving. Holy <laughs> shit, we got more folders in here. Oh, wait, Dave's got his girlfriend now? Oh, yeah, yes. yeah. You, you, you hi, Dave's girlfriend. Hi. She says hi. Dude, I figured you at least waited two or three more weeks. Um... <laughs> <laughs> well, she's got to get in the Shark Tank sooner or later. Wow. Yeah, wow. Dave's girlfriend must be extra sturdy. <laughs> <laughs> Giving me this weird stare now. <laughs> Let's see other things you have done on the show. Oh yeah, you burn yourself with soldering iron. That's pretty normal for the show, actually. Here we go. Finally got me show notes. If yeah. they ever load up, here we go. Are you there? Yeah, we're still here. Surprisingly, your netbook has not crashed yet. 
Let's see, building high gain Wi Fi antennas. Yeah, that was fun. Oh, yeah, that's, My, that's why we're supposed to be going to PSG. Yeah. Oh. Burn itself with soldering iron. Yeah, that was fun. Uh, actually, I did the both at the same time. <laughs> Repeatedly. Okay, <Game> multitasking. <laughs> Cut the hell out of myself, too. Oh, that, that. Minor on air surgery, moving debris from poking injury. Yeah, I had someone throw something at me at, me at work a while ago and. It got infected, so I removed the debris. Actually, the sad part is, is I think I was actually speaking while I removed the debris. So, if someone actually caught what episode I was talking really, really slow and sort of halting on, yeah, it was probably it. <laughs> yeah, you truncate silence. Wow. Let's see, uh, nervous breakdown song. Yeah. Uh, post production. Yeah, I've done that while podcasting before. <laughs> Mostly during interviews. Oh, the keyboard's going. Well, speaking Auto of interviews, it's the next one. <laughs> <clears throat> Auto accidents of people dying outside my window. Yeah, I live on the Carlisle Pike. People become retarded around here when they drive. Um, for a little way, it's a divided highway. And, um, yeah. Well, it's not like anal sex, okay? I mean, if you enter the exit-only hole on that chunk of road, you might quite possibly die. As a matter of fact, I'll include show note. I'll include a picture with these show notes of the damage somebody left while doing this. It was freaking awesome. <laughs> Dave, you saw you saw what was left of that tele of that uh, telephone, right? The telephone or that payphone? Uh no, you didn't. You didn't say. Oh, I didn't get. The, I didn't get that pick from you. Alrighty, I pointed it out when we were getting gas. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Might even no. Uh, no, I don't. I don't think we got that on film. Talking gamma through emo breakdowns. Yeah. If you're listening, okay. Divide. I mean, you need to make a scale here. Okay, this is be a really awesome heuristic for a life. Okay, you're going to have a zero. You're going to have a ten. Okay? And when you're applying effort, normally I say a five, but in your case, I tone that down to about a two. That's how much effort you should apply when you're doing most tasks. Life will be good. But he only has one speed. Go. It's like Charlie Sheen. Rick Roll and Pagan Leaders with Gay Fairy Porn with Plenty of Seminal Fluid. Yeah. I think we've joked about that one quite a bit. Yeah. Filled out Army Morale Survey. Yeah. Well, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's when I, yeah, I was asked if I was a, about, about a couple of things. I said I was raised a pacifist. And obviously, it meant I was a terrorist. <laughs> um, yeah, let's not go there. Diet Soda. Hey, Dave. Oh, never, ever, ever give scurvy diet soda, ever. Especially if I'm sleep-deprived. Has weird chemical reactions in his body. Fever of 102.5. Yeah, Amber told me to go to bed. Yup. Podcasting while in the middle of a power outage. Well, we have those a lot around here. That's why I have inverters. Alrighty. Somebody else's turn. The next section is Amber. <clears throat> Let's see. We had hurricanes. Plural. <laughs> yeah, plural. We had flooding. Is the the water was slowly creeping up to the house from the sound. You know, we don't get flooding from the ocean, but um, when the wind blows, the sound floods. Now we have random neighbors stopping over. Usually they're pretty cool, but we have a couple of neighbors that really are loud and obnoxious when they stop by. Speaking of quiet neighbors, hi, Mark. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doing all right. We're trying Google Plus for our podcast. Google Plus. Yeah. Hi, Mark. We all love you. Ashley said, hi, Green Mark. Park. We all love you. And Joe said, hi, Mark. Let's see. We've also had Brandon. Brandon is considered a tragic event during podcasting. 
Especially when he quote unquote accidentally clicks on porn sites. <laughs> <laughs> As Brandon gives an innocent look and goes, No. <laughs> We've also had the awesome. cat randomly falling out of the window. And down the stairs. And down the stairs. Why she continues to sit on the banister and fall asleep and continually fall down the stairs, I'll never know. <laughs> because cats are special. We've had tree frogs chirping in my window. They're nice. We've had drunken college kids next door playing obnoxiously loud music and pissing me off. Vodka and wine was a wonderful thing that intercepted my podcasting. <laughs> and then very friendly wasps that decided they wanted to be my best friend. <laughs> I already did my section. Next is Ashley. <laughs> You know, duct tape works remarkably well, moving glass-like fragments from your knuckle. Yes. Says someone who just acquired this experience. Hey, it's not a good idea to be a piece of hardware around me. I don't like when I'm having a bad day. <laughs> now I gotta scooch down to see the fucking monitor anymore. Actually, no, lifted up most of the scab, too. <laughs> Another on air surgery. <laughs> right? Scurvy surgery, come on uh, this fall. <laughs> I'm going to get you a mini crash kit for Cthulhu Moss. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I'm afraid of this. Oh, okay. Maybe like an 80 piece first aid kit. <laughs> <laughs> My sister's full of fail. Uh oh. You're showboating. Knock it off. How the hell did that happen? <coughs> hey, when you get secondary injuries, you don't even know how you got. Good. So, are we moving on to next section, or waiting for Scurvy to finish operating upon himself? Ashley, you are the next section. I was just making sure I wasn't sure what was going on. I'm not sure what breaking dishes has to do with anything. I don't know. My mom, yeah, she's crazy. She's my mom. Where the hell do you think I get it from? <laughs> I decided it would be fun to dislocate my knee slightly. So there was lots of video games over that couple weeks. And my leg randomly spasming and knocking out all the way. And Oh, the delightful levels of pain. Oh, that sucks. Then, yay! Driver's license and a car! Mobile! Finally! I Happy birthday! Have my... Thank you! I have this many now. <laughs> this many. I only had your sweet 16. We're proud. Ah. And I got a giant back tattoo. Which is why I changed my shirt. Because I guess people would like to see it. Oh, that's nice to view the video for like 10 minutes there. Giant Can tattoo. Can you see it? Yes. Yep. That is my tattoo. Ashley has camera people. <laughs> so, yay. And for those of you who are listening to us on the audio show, <laughs> youtube.com I don't have a camera. podcast. Uh. <laughs> okay, Mark. Then there was Sam. 
who we were having we were having the the media poisoning episode, and she was like grumble grumble grumble. You know, all that actually got edited out of the episode, but it got to the point where grumble grumble grumble, and then Scurvy was trying to give a nice polite calm response, and then she got disconnected with very dramatic timing. <laughs> oh. Yeah, I forgot to call off today. Christmas party ambushed me. <laughs> oh. Wow. Post is going to be a bitch on this. Yes. <laughs> oh, God. I have totally been just blowing all protocol out the window, <laughs> drinking, eating... <laughs> I'm hey, not muting my microphone I'm not talking. We should ask Miles if he wants to do post. Sure. Yeah. Hand this episode over to him. <laughs> oh, spread the misery. <laughs> Norea, you want to do post? <laughs> hey, there's a kick. Why not? <laughs> <laughs> right, watch out. I might take you a little bit seriously on that one. <laughs> I'll do it. I got the how-to. Okay. Yeah, you I just can't promise it will come out well. <laughs> <laughs> it can't be any worse than what Gamma did. Um, speaking of which, you are the next section. He's going to put in sex noises. <laughs> oh, yeah. Make it a wow. morning zoo. <laughs> yeah. It really would be a morning zoo. <laughs> bang, bang, and orangutan and orgy at the zoo. <laughs> Holy shit, I'm impressed. That hard drive survived. Or did you run over it with an RV or something? Well, effectively, yeah. I, I didn't quite secure it to the computer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, my, my little flat screen monitor sort of knocked my uh, desktop off the yeah, ah. shelf. He smote his computer verily. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> and there's Nuria again. Oh yeah, I got it. Want- hmm? Who was saying they were wanting to pet my hair? Sarah. Hi, Sarah. <laughs> Where's Sarah's face? Sarah doesn't have the webcam on. Goofball. Sarah doesn't have a face. <laughs> I am the. T- that flaps in the night. Ah! <laughs> I am the gum that sticks to your shoe. Yeah. Oh, 90s, I miss you and your lack of fail so hard. <laughs> <laughs> it's sad but true. So, Sir Scurve, does that mean that's the second computer that's been destroyed during the middle of a podcast this year? <laughs> uh, actually, no, it survived. Oh, okay. <laughs> I'm just thinking I'm looking down at Miles and yeah when the dog uh, basically you know dragged the laptop through the house <laughs> yeah. Yeah. all the while he the just, the screen. Meanwhile, we didn't know something was going wrong we just heard <laughs> bam on the floor and it wasn't until like we saw it I was like uh, he goes to tell Snooze yeah we're gonna need a new uh, screen for this laptop and then Snooze just fucking <laughs> oh, I'm like <laughs> Yeah. We need to have a telephone for Snooze to get a new computer. <laughs> so how long is it safe to take uh, Valerian Root and uh, Kava Kava anyway? Uh, I'd have to actually check. Amber, I've been this, dying of the doing? plague, so... <laughs> See. I what will not it? play Sims. I will not play Sims. <laughs> I'm stronger than my urge to play the Sims. Let's see. Let's, let's see what we got here. My boobies area. are getting cold. We got. <laughs> we got Daria oh, looking at pornography and Rick rolling the chat with, "Oh God, is that a an insert <laughs> thing here?" Ah, uh, furry porn. Poor yes. Brandon. <laughs> And then there's there we go. tormenting Let's sound, hitting the situation. on Ashley, hitting on Miles, hitting on Dave, hitting on Joe, hitting on Amber, hitting on basically everyone. <laughs> yeah, hey, I can't hit on Kat yet. Or Sarah. Hmm. They haven't been here before. <laughs> Did you hit on Barrett yet? 
Yes. That's amazing. He must have been very afraid. Yeah, he, he caused Bear to walk away from the show one time. <laughs> yeah. What do you do and that I broke my arms. <laughs> <laughs> my analogies tend to do that. I one time made the argument that Miles was the reincarnation of the Christian God, Gandhi, Buddha, Hitler, his own father, he was his own father, and a concise argument without breaking logic. Wow. And he had to accept my argument. (laughs) Poor Miles, he is his own father, and Buddha, and Gandhi, and Hitler, and Yahweh. So we got an interesting entry here. PCP, the drinking game, while recording, and then finishing the bottle. While yep. What episode was that? I can't remember at this point. <laughs> That's called alcohol poisoning. Ah, uh, fireball. Canadian whiskey. Yay, cinnamon. <laughs> Finish the bottle. Encrypting the system partition on the computer he's podcasting from while podcasting. Yeah. That was fun. It worked perfectly fine, too, until I tried to close Skype. (laughs) Everything (laughs) crashed. (laughs) Mm, No, it just took about 20 minutes for Skype window to finally close. Ah. You broke miles, resulting in various phenomena? Yep. Phenomena. And we're totally getting pulled off YouTube now for copyright infringement. I don't even think this one's making a past post. <laughs> I'm not even sure it's making it past pre. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> Hmm. Purchase chemical reset and botanical substances. Oh, well, okay. Yeah. Yay, euphemism. So that's Nuria. I think, I don't know, if we don't have an address for him, we probably will after the show. <laughs> Say what? Alright, after this, we all out of topics. On this complete random craziness nonsensical episode of PCP. Hmm. We almost have an hour and a half that we've been recording. Which will be like 35 minutes after we've cut out all the silence. <laughs> the silence hasn't... Yeah, when Scurvy punched his computer. The silence will fall. There was silence <laughs> for like 10 minutes. <laughs> really? Yeah. That was, oh, that yeah. was an epic post Scurvy silence. <laughs> Kudos. That was the biggest post scurvy silence of the year. <laughs> you went out with a bang, literally. <laughs> it was a pretty loud bang, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you frightened the children. <laughs> Namely me. <laughs> hey, Dave. Okay, you're welcome. Yes, Maria? <laughs> the king of wolves. I got a wolf in my bed again. Yay. Yeah. No, these are not sexing this time. Okay. Uh, that's always fun. What the hell was that? Scurvy pulling his hair. Oh, okay. Scurvy needs his hair pulled? He already did that himself. Yeah. You know what's a lot of fun to do? Well, my dad amputated his finger because he's a dumbass. <laughs> I had to take him to a, uh, yeah, let's not go there. But uh, we had to take him to a plastic surgeon and all that stuff because, well, he, he sort of screwed up when he amputated his finger. And uh, <clears throat> I'm in there and all that stuff. And I'm, originally, I just wanted to get some sleep. But I was like, okay, I got to go pee-pee. So I go and I head in there and there's all these ladies in there and they're just glaring at me. And then I realized something. I was like, wow, I got the best hair in the room. And I haven't brushed it in two days. Ah! 
<laughs> All right, we'll be right back after these messages for final thoughts. And we're back for Here. final thoughts. Final thoughts are apparently another scurvy silence. <laughs> <laughs> My final thought is I'm glad we've given up making show notes for this annual episode because we just <laughs> suck at it. <laughs> <laughs> And may your Kelly Mazing, you know, epicness somehow not lead to drama, 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 banhammer, banhammer. Uh, I'm yeah. trying to use every PCP meme of the year in one sentence, and I just can't do it. Yeah, you forgot to throw Gamma in there. Yeah, Gamma was last year, though. Oh, that's right. Hmm. Gamma, 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 bad hammer, bad hammer, failing, 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 falling from the sky. You know, William and I actually had a pretty good uh, band hammer, band hammer uh, tune going on the way down to uh, Amber's. <laughs> I mean, we worked on it for about four hours. kind of wish I could remember it. But then again, at about that point in time, you know, you know if anything starts sounding good. Huh? So no more pink hair drama for us. <sighs> you no can worries. stay down you can, you can, below you the can Mason Dixon. with us, and we won't ban you from our website or our Facebook or our Google Plus or anything. Because yeah. we like hate mail. Yeah. Yep. Send us your delicious hate mail. Oh yeah! By the way, PCP at uh, PaganStandardPodcast dot com. You can send your hate mail there. Ah, damn it. I gotta run check test. And that is Gary's final thought. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great audio bite, too. God damn it. I gotta run check disc. <laughs> we'll put that in the Power Hour uh, intro video. The Power Hour yeah. trailer. That'd be right at the end. God damn it. I gotta run check disc. <laughs> Explosion! <laughs> Lens flare for no reason! <laughs> <laughs> This trailer was brought to you by Michael Bay. <laughs> Holy fucking shit, did you see that explosion? Oh, Michael Bay film. <laughs> Pow wow! Pow wow! <laughs> yes! Mm. With Adam West Batman type graphics. Pow! Wow, that's a lot of air codes. <laughs> you did hit it pretty hard. <laughs> It probably is PTSD now. <laughs> it's possible. I did literally knock the hard drive out of it while it was powered up. <laughs> Things not to do to your computer. <laughs> what the oh, I just rolled through a wall against the platter. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, what's your final thought? You've been hanging around us for like a year now. Hmm. My final thought? Hey, Sarah. <laughs> See that's what? that's the computer that went airborne. <laughs> oh wait, wait, I gotta get Sarah some video. Let me find my mouse. There we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Come on. Whoa, we Talk so we can he- so we can get a bigger picture, Scurve. Ba 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 ba. That worked. Yep. Is that right side up? Uh, no. <laughs> well, it actually wouldn't really? really? make much difference. <laughs> Things we might go airborne so coming in 2012. <laughs> PCP in the sky! <laughs> in space! Oh, wow. Well, we are spending the apocalypse with Barrett and uh, Amanda, so... What about Barrett and Amanda? They're getting married on a on December twenty first. Yes. Year. And we're going. Canadian marriage rocks. <laughs> going to Winnipeg in December. <laughs> I 
Even though it's going to be fucking cold. Holy shit, I can Oh, there goes Scooby. <laughs> God damn it, I gotta run a check disc. <laughs> you know, if the monitor, the laptop could reach over here, I mean, there's like all sorts of error codes here. I've never seen a lot of these. <laughs> <laughs> the biggest one of all. <laughs> hey, but what's your final thought? I know you're dying, but what's your final thought? Uh... Or maybe it's just more entertaining to make up one for 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 your your roommate. <laughs> <laughs> My final thought is I'm 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 very proud that I actually got Brandon to make stuff for the uh, the Etsy site. Yay. So now if I can just get him to be ambitious enough to write a fucking description, Coming I next. can post it on the Red Tail Arts on Etsy. Coming next year. Any of you at Red Tail Arts, whether Amber likes it or not. Ah. Right. <laughs> Interviewception. It'll be so awkward. I'll be like, Amber, where'd you learn to write, you know, make all this cool stuff in an show video? And then I'll be thinking it really is as epic as it actually is. And then... Amber will be like all kinds of shy and thinking people are stupid and crazy. Around. That's where I learn stuff. Around. I watch things. <laughs> no, I'll just pretend like I'm talking to somebody at the museum. It'll be cool. Okay. Larry, did we get a final thought out of you yet? Yeah, his final thought was, hi, Sarah. Oh, that's right. Hello, Sarah. Mm. Speaking, of, <laughs> speaking of Sarah... Aren't you scrumptious? Mm. You have any final you have no departing idea. words? <laughs> I like Sarah. She can stay. <laughs> <laughs> we, we, we need get to get to talk Sarah later. To... <laughs> many, many times we can talk. We can just get a good idea. <laughs> Maria's eating this off. Yeah, we need to we need to get Sarah in on Skype for the after hours. She would fit in. <laughs> and Skype and the children are asleep. Life is good. Cool. Oh. Why don't you go out well? <laughs> yeah. Alright, so that's my it. Final thought is I'm gonna finish my goddamn book. Yeah, let's get that book done. You've been writing it for I've written like thirty pages in the past like week. Woo! <laughs> <clears throat> nothing, nothing, nothing. Holy shit, creativity! <laughs> that happens when you have, you know, less stress in your life. Yeah. And now it has no job. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, Ashley, don't you remember our, our listener mail? We're, we're in an environment promoting... You know, comfort. Fuck that. <laughs> Happiness. She needed to die in a fire. <laughs> I'll settle with not having presents on Cthulhu. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be at peace with that. She doesn't need to die in a fire now. <laughs> Choosing the luxury. She can live as long as she wants. I don't care anymore. <laughs> So that's it for this wonderful episode of PCT and Taking Center Podcast. See us next week where we talk about something substantive. <laughs> Yay. All right. Say bye. 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 <laughs> bye. Oh, yeah, we're really enthusiastic on that one.